alternator works. Guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're working on the 07. We're gonna get the hot retorque, trans cooler, and the front end buttoned up. So we're gonna go ahead and run it, breaking the cam 10 minutes from 15 to 1800 RPM. Let's go ahead and get started. So because we don't have the alternator hooked up, we got the battery charger to keep the voltage up while we go. charging now it's just pretty easy keep an eye on the oil pressure and get the uh, oil hot so let's go ahead let's get this party started shall we gonna open the window so we can hear leave the oil pressure right there back in 10 minutes so we're about halfway through it right now guys I totally forgot we have 03 04 injectors with a 6 7 bowl so we got to work on the crank timing the uh, early style bowls need a little bit more positive timing which is why it's running so bad but so far still got good oil pressure everything's going smooth we're at 110 degrees it is pretty warm out today for spring but I'll take it all right, so we got her hot, and now we're taking her apart. Put the other on the time lapse. So we got the hot retort done. We're gonna let the valves cool off, get it on the lift, put the transmission cooler on here. That way when we're doing burnouts and destroying mire on the daily, we can keep our training cool. So this is by the spare tire holder. We just weld the two bars to here. Trans cooler bolts up into it. We got the paint drying. While the paint is drying, we're gonna go ahead and set the valve lash and get the top end buttoned up. So we got the hot retorque done. You guys saw it. I always get this question. I do the overlap method. So you set one in overlap, which means the intake is just opening, exhaust just closed. You do six, and then you just go and fire number one, five, three, six, two, four. Whatever cylinder is in overlap, you do the companion cylinder uh, lash. So just buzz through it real quick. They didn't move. 
cam break in went smooth because the lash didn't loosen up. Um, so we're moving on. We have our beautiful transmission cooler mount all done up. We got the bolts TIG welded on the back, so no backing wrench. And now we're gonna route it. Uh, we're gonna wire them in or like bring them close and then run them really tight against the fuel tank up to the tranny. And because originally we planned on putting this behind the transfer case instead of back here, I'm gonna have to redo one of the air cooler lines, but it is what it is, no big deal. Let's go ahead and get to work. All right, so we got our front transmission cooler with the lines right there. They snake all the way back. One goes into the tranny or the front cooler. There's the return. Here's the exit. And then they come nice and tucked, uh, covered by the fuel cell or the fuel tank. And they're routed all the way back to right here. Um, pretty slick. I uh, love these clamps. And now we just gotta tighten it all up. We blow all the lines out. Um, I am gonna save wiring this for another day, but pretty simple, just positive and a ground. And that's all you need. So we're gonna wrap it up over here, take it over to the other shop and put the front end together. All right, so we're back over at our shop. Gonna go ahead and reassemble the front end. Pretty easy, guys. Um, you saw us do it on the 05. The only difference is this one has a trans cooler and a condenser. So I'm gonna get you guys set up here on the tripod. Let's get to work.
All right, guys, it is time to fill her up with coolant. We got everything hooked up, I think. Uh, I gotta fill the transfer case real quick, but other than that, and the bumper, obviously, but everything else is thrown together a little bit under an hour. They go together quick once you figure out what bolt size is and how it, how it all goes together. So let's get her topped off. Phone's about to die though, so I'm gonna fill it up with coolant and get her fired up. Bumper's on. This is the first fur with the alternator and everything else. Alternator works. All right, guys. excited so excited sounds great it should be a ripper hopefully these sleeves hang in there well hey guys we're gonna end the video off here i don't want to leave you hanging but it's i'm exhausted it's time for bed um drove it home drove great uh definitely need some tuning revisions uh which is to be expected with that fca and that 14 mil pump it was kind of hunting around for rail pressure but no big deal me and james will get that squared away Hopefully you guys like this video. Drop a comment down below. Subscribe if you're not already. Uh, now we got a lot more content coming for the 07, getting it ready for that street race. Uh, and always, guys, I'll see you on the next one.